Ishel, goddess of the rainbow and protector of women. In the ancient land of the Maya, which spanned from Mexico to South America, the jungles whispered secrets and temples still stand today as monuments to divine connection. The tales of Ishel, the goddess of the rainbow, the moon, and the protector of women, tell the story of a goddess of transformation, hope, and survival. The rainbow shines after the storm, and Ishel's story is no different. According to the Maya, the goddess Ishel was the one who wove the universe into being with her beautiful loom and thread. Ishel, with her silvery brilliance and exquisite weaving skills, captured the heart of the sun god Kinich Aho, or Itzamna, who fell deeply in love with her. Each day, he showered her with gifts, and their love blossomed, leading them to develop a secret plan to elope. On the chosen night of their escape, the sun god shapeshifted into a hummingbird, and together, he and Ishel embarked on a celestial journey, paddling their canoe along the great river of the sky, also known as the Milky Way. But the next day, the great father of the sky, Hunabku, the creator of the universe and the supreme god of all gods, was in great distress to discover the lover's disappearance. He declared, the sun and the moon cannot marry. Eclipses will shroud the earth in darkness. This cannot be. Fueled by anger, Hunabku sought the assistance of Jack, the rain god, unaware of the secret that Chalk harbored, for he was also in love with Ishel. Through dense rainforests, Hunabku and Chak pursued the young lovers. Confrontation ensued, tempers flared, and tragedy struck. Hunapku, in a rage, wounded Ishel's lover with his blowgun, while Jack, in a mishap, unleashed a lightning bolt that accidentally took Ishel's life. Barely alive, the sun god cast a shadow of dark skies and clouds upon the day, and nights were devoid of the moon. The entire universe mourned the loss of Ishel's brilliance and nurturing presence. Creatures of the forest gathered, spreading the news, until the news reached the ears of 398 dragonflies. Driven by a shared purpose, all of the dragonflies from near and far came together for 13 days and nights and brought the universal energy of transformation with them. With delicate touches and sparkling wings, they hovered and hummed over Ishel's body, singing and showering her with their healing light. To Hunapku's astonishment, as he returned to claim Ishel's body for burial in a cenote, the dragonfly's dedication had revived his daughter back to life. Ishel rose alive, transforming darkness into light. Calmness returned to the realm of the gods. The sun resumed its place in the sky, warming the earth and illuminating the day, watching over crops and plants. The moon resumed her celestial duties, lighting the night sky, pulling on the ocean tides, rain, and guarding over midwives, healers, children, and weavers. One legend says that the two young lovers, Ishel and the sun god, forever wander the skies in search of each other. Occasionally, their celestial reunion creates the wondrous spectacle we know as the eclipse. 
But in another version of the story, Ishel's relationship with the sun god was a turbulent one, and after her resurrection, their difficulties continued. Kenich Aho's suspicions, jealousy, and fiery temper led him to accuse Ishel of an affair with his brother, the Morning Star. In a fit of rage, the sun god threw Ishel out of the sky. For a time, she sought refuge with the vulture gods. But after the sun god found her and begged for her forgiveness, Ishel forgave and returned to him. However, the cycle of abuse continued. Realizing the sun god would not change, Ishel finally decided to leave him. Under the cover of night, she transformed into a jaguar, becoming invisible whenever he sought her. Spending nights on her sacred island, Cozumel, she dedicated herself to nursing women during pregnancies and childbirth. Ishel, the weaver of the life cycle, embraced all phases of existence. She was, and still is, revered on the island of women, Isla Mujeres, for she protects women's fertility and serves as the guardian of souls departed. In her multifaceted nature, Ishel embodies the complexities of life and the strength to navigate its many challenges. So pay attention when the dragonfly graces your life, for it may be signaling your readiness for change and transformation. And it may be a sign that the goddess Ishel is walking beside you. Dragonflies guide us through life's storms, and the goddess Ishel can be your guardian, healer, and inspiration too. If your life feels like you're in the middle of a hurricane, remember that the waters and winds of the storm cleanse the earth, and after the darkness of the clouds, the rainbow fills the sky with beauty, hope, and promise once again. If you want to dive deeply into embodying the goddess, join me for goddess yoga classes and retreats worldwide, where we celebrate the goddess within us all with yoga, dance, tarot card readings, meditation, friendship, and nature. Thank you.